I'm Dongyan from DDN, and today I'm going to talk about um, the work we've done on lazy size on the MDS. Um, this work is actually done by my colleagues at DDN, and um, it's like 5 a.m. ish for me back home, so no tough questions, okay? <laughs> um, right, so um, let's begin with uh, size on MDS. So it's not a new concept. And uh, the reason behind this is um, currently we store metadata and data um, separately on the MDS and uh, OSS. Uh, so on the MDS, we have uh, timestamps, uh, ownership, etc. Uh, but if you really want to uh, know about the size of blocks, uh, you have to go to the objects um, on the stored on the uh, OST. So um, if a client decides to do a stat on the file, then uh, you need to talk to the MDS first to get the layout information, and then for every stripe uh, of the file, of the object, you need to talk to every uh, OST to get the, all the information. So um, that means OS-L, which is a famous example, um, takes long time on very large um, directories. Um, Here's our uh, proposal on the, uh, well, actually it has been done. Um, the uh, lazy size um, MDS design. Um, the um, size um, MDS is saved as a extended attribute on MDT. Um, it stores both the size and block. Um, comparing to the old SOM, um, this, you can think this as a old SOM, but without the uh, recovery part. Uh, the reason behind this is um, recovery with accurate size on uh, MDS. Eventually, it fell down to the too hot basket and um, got removed. Uh, so here's another go at it. Hopefully, it will solve uh, part of the problem. Um, so uh, currently, when the client closes the file, it will pack the size and blocks information and send that along with the close RPC to the MDT. So that's the time on the MDS we can update the uh, extended attribute, as well as when the, we get a set attribute RPC from the client, it's also the time to update this. So um, because we don't do any recovery, there is no guarantee for the accuracy, um, which means, which, which means, um, which means, uh, which means the file, if the file has been opened for write or append uh, for a long time, the size stored on the MDS could not be really accurate because you know you don't know how much the client has uh, written to the OSTs already. Also, along with this um, design, we have a sync tool. Uh, to provide a little bit extra accuracy on this, more on that later. Um, so um, why we call that lazy? Because apparently recovery um, with um, size and metadata is just too hard. And getting rid of the recovery part makes it easy to implement. Um, and the Sync tool is really intended for um, the policy engine and scanning tools. Um, so with that work done, uh, currently uh, client has no way to get the uh, size, lazy size um, MDS yet. So if you want to look at the size um, metadata, you can say FS and get SOM with the pass. It will print out the size and blocks. Also, if you're writing your own program, um, like scanning tool or policy engine, you could just call the get extended attribute, ask for the extended attribute. So with that actually stored on the MDS, MDT, what we can do about this information? Um, this is really intended for the, as I said, for the um, policy engine and scanning tool. Um, for example, for, for Robinhood, Robinhood can use this as a very fast way to get some 
estimated size or snapshot of the file size in the past and make that to take account into the policy engine de decision uh, process. And another thing is LIPE. So LIPE is a policy engine developed by DDN. Um, it runs directly on the MDS, scans the MDTs directly. It has some pros and cons um, for this because it's running directly on the MDS, so you don't have to get to the extra server to run this. Um, also, th that means no duplication of the metadata. And if you have a large file system and the file system is busy, keeping the two copies of metadata in sync is a challenge. Uh, also, potentially, scanning could be faster because people tend to use SSDs or fast block storage device on the MDS. Uh, however, currently it has no idea about size, so um, cannot, LIPE cannot um, process any policy decisions uh, related with size. So with um, lazy size on um, MDT, it could actually use this size for its decisions. So um, for these tools, it still serves the purpose because it's not end of word. Um, if you made a decision um, to archive a file, and later I find out mm, the file is not that big. Um, those kind of um, operations can always be reverted. Uh, for the purge case, uh, well, you can also double check and um, as a last result, you can always do a stat, conventional stat and get accurate size on the client before actually committing the purge. Um, another thing is um, StatX. So uh, StatX is a new system call introduced in kernel 4.10. Uh, comparing to the conventional stat, uh, it adds two more fields. Uh, one is the bitmap. You can specify which attributes you're interested in rather than the standard uh, stat just returns a whole lot. Uh, you can say you're only interested in ownership, timestamps, on, you only want to know about the size. Uh, also, with StatX, you can uh, ask for the creation time. Uh, they, there's another extra flag come with StatX. Um, particularly interesting here is the StatX don't sync, which, has, which was designed with the uh, network file system in mind. Basically, this means client says, okay, just give me whatever you have I don't really care if it's right or wrong. I don't care if it's accurate or not. So this fits perfectly with the description of uh, lazy size on metadata. So we could just return this to the client and uh, client doesn't have to talk to all the OSTs to get the size. Um, but before that happens, as Andreas pointed out yesterday at the uh, developer day, um, we first have to add the StatX support in Luster, and you need to change the application. So for example, the LS utility from Core Utilities is still doesn't use StatX, it's still using Stat, so that has to be done uh, to be able to see some benefit from the client. Um, so this feature is scheduled to land uh, with 2.12. Here are some ideas that can be happening in the future. So we can add a confidence flag to in indicate different levels of accuracy on the MDS, which is reflection of Nathan's slides earlier today. So for example, if um, we know we only have lazy SOM, we can re return it to a client when the client is using StatX, for example. And if we know that the size stored on the MDT is accurate because it's from data on, data on MDS or FLR, then if the client is really asking using the old stat, we can return this. And we found out, if we found out we don't have anything available on MDS, then tough luck. Client has to go back to all the OSTs to find out about size. Uh, another idea is like adding an extra mount option, which is a new mount option to change the stat behavior on the client. So the client would ask for lazy size um, MDT and use that as a size, so don't ever talk to the OSTs, which is um, debatable. 
as you can see, you need to change your application to make it work. Um, well, not, not really. Um, well, it could break your application if your application is really depending on the correct size. So you should be really careful. But if people really want to use this, well, fine, there, there, there you go, but you've been warned. And um, another pressing issue is the, to, to add IO control to provide means for the policy engine like your IPE to get the um, lazy size um, metadata, to get the accurate size, uh, to get estimated size to, to make its way to, um, for the policy decisions. What is, what is this feature really intended for? And here are some performance numbers we've got. Uh, we've made a very initial stage patch on the client to implement the new mount option uh, idea on the previous slide. And here's the time taken for ls-l under directory with 100,000 files. Uh, as you can see, the time uh, for ls-l grows with number of stripes. And if you're using the new mount option, it's only asking for lazy SOM, then it's pretty constant as expected because you're only talking to the MDT, not the USTs. And here's the OU link and two patches. Okay, questions? Isn't really a question, but it, it might be interesting to see, so if it's from the client's perspective, what information gets written into the EA, it might be interesting to see both the, if it's using ZFS compression, both the compressed and uncompressed value of the file. I don't know if that's possible, but it'd be interesting to see. from the client's perspective. Right. So uh, I noticed that uh, you have a uh, LIPE referenced on there, on your slide. Does that uh, mean that you guys are going to continue uh, development of the Luster Integrated Policy Engine? That slide, yes. Yeah, um, um, we, we will continue to develop um, LIP police engine. And actually, we have uh, some customers trying to use LIP for the production system. So I, I think the answer is yes. Can you modify LFS find to use this new attribute? Yes, that's definitely doable to use the new uh, StatX, yes. Other questions? I had one. So uh, in you showed the LS-L performance about like a factor of five improvement. So is that similar for your policy scanning engine? You get a factor five improvement in the oh, rate? Um, the policy engine, because it directly scans on the MDT, it goes into the backend of the SFS, so it's not actually going through the client, so it's a different story, and it should be very fast. Better than 5x, possibly. Okay, fair enough. I'm just gonna add, um, LFS find already doesn't talk to the OSTs. If you're not requesting, you know, something related to the size or the blocks, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, we could add in something like lazy size or whatever, and then, you know, or, you know, even you get the size back, and if it's not even within, you know, the orders of magnitude of what you're requesting, if you say size zero, and we report, you know, lazy size 50 gigabytes, chances are it's not going to match, right? Okay, thank you.